Hey guys, um, I'm here to talk about mixed numbers and improper fractions. I know that uh, those two concepts are really the focal point of the grade five math right now. So I thought I'd do a quick video to explain what's going on. So what you see on my screen right now, I'm on a website called superteacherworksheets.com that I highly recommend. Um, you do have to buy it, it's $25 a year to purchase this, but um, it has really good worksheets if you're interested. Anyway, um, so this is some mixed numbers right here. So basically what a mixed number is, we can see that we have two full squares shaded and one quarter. The denominator, remember denominator meaning down, the number on the bottom is what the shapes are divided into. So they're divided into fours. So this would be out of four. So we see that we have four shaded, eight shaded, nine shaded. We have nine small squares shaded out of, and we say out of the denominator, four. So the mixed number for this would be nine out of four, nine quarters. For this one right here, we have our shapes divided into three equal pieces. So the denominator, it would be out of three. So how many pieces do we have? We have three, six, nine, ten. So it would be ten thirds. That is the um, improper fraction. So that would be ten thirds, or you could say it's three and one quarter. For this, you could say two and one, sorry, that's not quarter, that's thirds. You could say two full, so two and one quarter. For this, the the improper fraction, so we can see that the stars are one, two, three, four, five, so they're fifths. So the improper fraction would be five, 10, 15, 20, 23. So 23 fifths would be the improper. The mix would be one, two, three, four whole ones, so it would be four and three fifths. Okay, so just to give you another way to look at it, the improper fraction that I have here is seven quarters. So what I want to do is I want to draw something that has quarters. So, and remember they have to sort of be equal. So that has quarters, that has quarters, okay? So I need to color seven pieces. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's seven quarters. Now how many holes do I have? Well, this is a hole, so one, and then I have three out of four. So this would be the mixed fraction. It's mixed because it's a mixture of whole and fraction. This would be the improper. Improper means when the top, the denominator is bigger than the bottom. That's an improper. So these are the exact same. Seven quarters is the exact same as one and three quarters. They mean the same thing. Now, if you wanted a mathematical way to figure this out, you would go on your calculator, you would do seven divided by four, and you would get one decimal, um, I gotta check that out specifically on my calculator, but the one would be for the one whole, and it's probably gonna be about seven five, because that's 75%, so that's how you would figure this out. Now here's our mixed fraction, one and four, six. So our, again, our denominator is six. So we need fractions with six. So you can do the bars or you could do the circles. So, four, five. Sorry for the shoddy videotaping. I'm uh, doing it by myself today. My daughter's busy doing her schoolwork. Oh, here she is. Maybe she can videotape me now. Okay, come on Paige, help me. Three, five, okay, here she is. Okay, focus on my uh, one. Ready, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so these are six, that's the denominator. So I need to do one whole. So this is one whole, and then four out of the six. One, two, three, four out of the six. So that would be the visual representation of that. Now, the mathematical way of actually figuring this out is you do the one times six, so one times six equals six, and then you have to add the um, numerator, so that is 10, 
and then you always put it out of the denominator. So it's 10, six. So basically what this means is there should be 10 colored. So we have six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 colored out of um, the division of six. So that's what that means. Okay, so I was looking at the work that um, the grade fives had to do and they have a number line here and it's divided into thirds. So I went ahead and I used my ruler and when you're dividing a number line, make sure that you're doing equal spacing, okay? So I have one third, two thirds, three thirds. We know that three thirds equals one whole. So this is actually one whole and they wanted you to show one and one third. It's right here, so that's the mix. The improper would be four thirds because one, two, three, four thirds, okay? So to do this mixed fraction, two and a quarter, they want you to change it into an improper fraction. So you can do that the mathematical way that I showed you. Zoom in here, page. So two and one quarter. So you can go two times four, that equals eight, plus the one equals nine, and then you always use the same denominator, four. So it'd be nine fourths. So the visual representation of this would be you cut it into quarters, fourths, and it has nine pieces colored, so that'd be nine quarters, or two holes and one quarter, okay? It's the same thing. Two and a quarter is the exact same as nine quarters. One is mixed, one is improper, okay? And then, the mathematical way to change an improper fraction into a mixed fraction. So say we have 15 tenths. Okay, so that means our shape is divided into 10 equal pieces. So here I made fraction bars 10 equal pieces, and then you had to color 15, so I colored 15. You can see that this is one whole, one whole, and then five out of 10 are shaded. But if I want to figure it out through a mathematical way, I do 15 divided by 10. And 15 divided by 10 is going to be 1 decimal 5. So we know that 10 goes into 15 one full time. So 1 is the one full bar shaded, one whole. And then the 0.5, it's 5 tenths. So 5 out of the 10. Okay, so 15 tenths or 1 and 5 tenths, they're equivalent. They're the exact same. I hope this helps. I um, posted a bunch of um, super teacher worksheet on um, Edsby, so you can click on them, you can print them off, and you can practice them. It's really good practice for you. Okay, hope this helps. Bye-bye.